chair recognizes Mr. Moskowitz for five minutes. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Um, and you know, I want to thank the majority for finding the time to fit this hearing in between attending former President Donald Trump's memorial service to David Koresh just last week, who was a real advocate for young girls uh, in this country. Uh, so uh, my first question uh, to anyone on the panel is, do you think parents in this country, as they're putting their young kids into pajamas at night and they're tucking them in to bed, you think they're worried about public urination in Washington, D.C., or you think they're worried about sending their kid to school and their kid not coming home? As a father of two kids who packed them up this morning and sent them to school, I care about making sure they're coming home. Thank you. You know, I voted with the majority on the disapproval because I'm, I'm consistent. You guys want to talk about D.C. public schools and crime? I don't, I don't want to burst your bubble over there, but mass murder in schools is crime. That's crime. You want to talk about 1,300 cars being stolen? 550 people have been murdered in school. Who cares about the cars? What about the kids? No hearing for them. 338,000 kids have experienced gun violence in this country. The number one killer of school-aged children in this country, gun violence. How do you think for the parents who have had to bury their kids, who have had to decide what to put their kids, what kind of clothes to put their kids in when they bury them, or what kind of box they have to pick out for their child, or for when they come home and that room in their house is empty? What do you think about for the parents who have all their kids' stuff? and they don't know what to do with it. What do you think about the parents? No high school graduation, no college graduation, no wedding, no grandkids, no future. What do you think those parents who have buried their kids think that we're holding a hearing to talk about DC public urination? You know, speaking of crime, Republican on Republican crime, Former President Donald Trump held a rally in Waco, Texas with his Rasputin Ted Nugent. He said the number one national security threat to this great nation isn't Russia or China or D.C. crime, but is an 81-year-old slip and fall survivor in minority leader Mitch McConnell. I, I'm just wondering if you know, we're going to find time in between you know, some folks here attending the next rally to celebrating Timothy McVeigh if we're going to find time to hold a hearing on mass murder in schools. When are we having that hearing? We want to talk about crime and murder. Let's have a hearing on murder in schools. It's murder. Is there any, any question? I'll yield to anyone on this committee who disagrees that murder in schools is not murder. I yield. Will you, will you yield? Oh, I'll yield. Yes, please. Yeah, I was, when I was in 11th grade and Joe Biden made our schools gun-free school zones, one of the students in my school brought three guns to school, and our entire school went on lockdown because he was the only person with a gun. There was no good guy with a gun to protect us kids at school. You want to know why the shooter is dead in Nashville, the trans shooter? You want to know why? Because a good guy with a gun killed that woman. She identified as a man. She was mentally ill probably taking hormones, and she went in and murdered children and adults in this Christian school in Nashville. So if you want to have a good talk about schools and protecting children, we need to talk about protecting our children the same way we protect our president, we protect our celebrities, yeah. we protect Re reclaiming this building. My time. Okay, Th I'll yield. Th thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, you know, there are six people that are dead in that school, including three children, because you guys got rid of the assault weapons ban. Because you guys made it easy for people who don't deserve to have weapons, who are mentally incapable of having weapons of war, being able to buy those weapons and go into schools. I voted for SROs in my schools in, in Florida after Parkland. We have SROs on every school. Did the good guys with the guns stop six people from getting murdered? No. But you know what? AR-15s, you've seen what those bullets do to children? You know why you don't hunt with an AR-15 with a deer? Because there's nothing left. And there's nothing left of these kids 
when people go into school and murder them while they're trying to read. You guys are worried about banning books. Dead kids can't read. 